Hello my lovely students. How are you all? I hope you all are doing great. Yes? Okay. Welcome back to your science class. So students, in this session, we will do our back exercise question of your science textbook of chapter number 2 that is components of food. So I want that every one of you open your page number 21 of your science textbook. and i also want that everyone should have a pencil in your hand why i am saying pencil in your hand because students today we will mark the answers of the questions given in your science textbook in the in the book itself so we will start first our exercise and a part and that a part is choose the most appropriate answers and student you will mark the most appropriate answer in your books and click the picture of your answers and send it to me on my whatsapp number let's start my students let's start so i hope student every one of you have opened page number 21 of your science textbook so let's start so students today in this video we will do our part a that is choose the most appropriate answer Okay students let's start so question number 1 is which of these provides energy so you have to tell that which of these four options provide us energy vitamins minerals carbohydrates or it is water so what is the answer so the answer is carbohydrates why it is carbohydrates see students it is written in your book page number 12 see here sugars and starch are carbohydrates they are nutrients that give us quick energy so the answer is carbohydrates next question which of these is the quickest source of energy and you have to tell us which among these four is the quickest source of energy sugars starch proteins fats so students the answer is sugar why it is sugar see here it is written already in your book page number 12 here sugars are the are used to provide energy immediately so that's why the answer is sugars next question in which vitamin would you would your body be most deficient if you did not eat fresh fruits and green vegetable so you have to tell amongst these four vitamins which vitamin is that in which you your body become most de most deficient so student the answer is vitamin c if we don't take vitamin c then our body become more deficient if we don't eat vitamin c in the form of fruits and vegetable then our body become most deficient moving further question number 4 which mineral is necessary for the formation of strong bones and muscles so you have to tell the name of the mineral which is necessary for the formation of strong bones and minerals so what is this is it iron is it calcium is it phosphorus or is it potassium so student the answer is phosphorus why it is phosphorus see here it is written here already phosphorus what is the importance of phosphorus phosphorus is used for the development of strong bones and teeth for making energy rich components in the cell of our body so it is used for the development of strong bones very good so next question question number 5 which of these four more forms most of our body weight so you have to tell that which of these forms which forms proteins fats carbohydrates and water forms most of our body weight so the answer of this question is water water is the form which forms most of our body weight next question iron is a dash is it a mineral is it a fat is it a vitamin is it a protein so iron is a mineral why it is a mineral student see here these are minerals these are the several minerals it is written these are the vitamins 
these are the vitamins and these are the minerals so minerals are iron calcium phosphorus potassium sodium iodine and fluorine so the answer answer is minerals fats vitamins and proteins are fats and vitamins and proteins are these are the nutrients and mineral is a iron iron is a mineral fine next question seventh obesity occurs due to dash obesity occurs due to what overeating of carbohydrates and fats not eating enough carbohydrates and fats overeating of vitamins and minerals not eating enough vitamins and minerals so obesity is due to overeating of carbohydrates and fats right student next question in which of the following diseases will you advise the intake of iodized salt which of these following diseases you will advise to take iodine salt beriberi goiter scurvy or rickets so answer is goiter so next question for developing strong bones and teeth which two minerals will you take more in your diet so which minerals will you take more in your diet is it iron and sodium is it iron and calcium is it iodine and fluorine or is it calcium and phosphorus so yes you are correct it it is calcium and phosphorus so last question 10th marasmus is caused due to diet insufficient in why marasmus disease is caused so it is caused due to insufficient in is it protein is it carbohydrate is it fat or is it all of these yes it, the answer is all of these see here as you can see from the picture student this is a disease marasmus see it is written already marasmus is a disease in children caused by the deficiency of proteins carbohydrates and fats the child becomes so thin as you can see from the picture that loses folds of skin can be seen all over the body you can see the folds of his fold of the body see from the picture you can see this so this is the disease known as marasmus so the answer is all of these it consists of proteins carbohydrates and fats so student that's all for today and my dear students you have to mark all these answer in your book itself and click the picture of these answer and send it to me i hope everyone has cleared thank you students i hope students every one of you have marked the answer in your book yes very good so we will continue this chapter that means we will continue the exercise today we have completed the a part in our next video student we will complete our b part so till then stay safe stay home and stay healthy bye students